everyone. Welcome to The Breakthrough with me and Mendez. I have a special guest today, crazy funny friend of mine, actor, writer, director, Kenyatta Cortez. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little nervous. I don't know what character you're about to be for me today, but um, definitely wanted to just have you on the show and showcase your talent. I think you're awesome in the short time that I've been able to work with you. <sighs> What is this? Oh, Lord. No. This is like your Oscar moment. <laughs> no, I thank you for having me on this show. Aww. You know, I really appreciate it so much, you know, and it, it touches my heart to be able to come on this show with you, to be yeah. in your presence, to be able to display what I do have. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. So you've been acting how long? I know you studied at Temple, right? Yes, yes, okay. yes. Um, uh, communications and theater. Yep. Uh, and uh, I've been acting all my life. I mean, basically, this is a have to for me, not a want to. Oh, very nice. So I can't, I don't want to be like saying I was acting since like, you know, 10 years ago, but all my life. Right. All my life. Yeah. So now that you, okay, you act, but you also write and direct. So mm -hmm. what do you, I guess, like better? Now, I like, I like writing. I like putting on productions because it gives other actors, well-known actors or actors that's up and coming, yeah. an opportunity to be, to be able to display their talents as well. Right. And that's important to me. Yeah, so I know you have a thing for writing comedy. Yes. Um, why is comedy so important to you? <laughs> because comedy, is too much drama in the world. And I just feel like, you know, that, you know, yeah. comedy basically allows people to relax. I'm all about changing people's moods. Yeah. If it changed lives, it changed lives. Yeah, that, well, comedy can do that. A lot of yeah. people go through stuff throughout their day, so being able to laugh mm -hmm. is great therapy, and you do that very well. Um, what mm. are some of your favorite characters, I guess, to play comedically that you've played in the past? Um, whew. I played the uh, perverted pastor. Oh, no. Okay. Yes. Uh, you know, that just, you know, that just taught me what not to do in real life if I were <laughs> to be a pastor. Right. You know? um, I also played a best friend of someone who just you know, uh, was naive, mm -hmm. you know. Um, a, lot of the pl uh, a lot of the plays or films that I've been in, I actually always play the comedic part. Yeah. You know, because so it's it comes just, naturally to you. just come natural, just yeah. changing people's moods and making people laugh. Right. You know? That's all. Yeah. I like to put a smile on people's face. Absolutely. <laughs> so who are some of, I guess, um, some people that inspire you, comedic actors that you might, I don't know, like a Martin, I'm not sure. Who, who would be somebody? Uh, definitely the Wayans family. Ah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a chance to meet Damon Wayans one particular time, and he gave me some, he instilled some good knowledge into me, yeah. and I look forward to working with him one day. You got Robert Townsend, Keener Army Wayans. Nice. Uh, you know, um, of course, Martin. Mm -hmm. uh, our own Philly, Kevin Hart. Yeah. You know, just setting you know, trail, setting the trail, blazing for us to be able to go after that, you know, the same opportunity that these guys have. Right, right. So I definitely want everyone to know about the great play that you have coming up November 30th. Please talk about it. Yes. <laughs> November 30th, Doing It After Dark. That's right. That stage play is basically uh, a comedy, straight comedy, no singing whatsoever. You know, too many singing plays, but we make fun of people that sing. And okay. it's about a guy who basically just just saying go after his dreams, you know, mm -hmm. despite the temporary setbacks that he have, you yeah. know. Never allow those things to set you back. Continue to just press on and go after your dreams. Yeah, and it's definitely funny. Um, I'm happy to say that I am in it. Thank you so much. So, <laughs> that's right, she's in it and doing her thing. Yeah. You know, I got a few up and coming actors, you know, uh, Steve Johnson, Tony Michelle, also my own son playing it, that's right. Yes, right. Kenyatta right. Carter Jr., you know. <laughs> And Miss Mama Mia. <laughs> Mama Mia, yeah. That's right, Mia Mendez. Yeah, thank you. So I play a character. Her name is Asia. I'm very excited about it. Thank you so much. We're having a great time right now in rehearsal. Yes. So um, November 30th, Arts Bank Theater, correct? Mm. And where can people get the tickets? They can call 267-262-0067, <laughs> or they can go to my website, www.kenyattacortez.com. Yes. Cortez with a K. Yes, Cortez with a K, absolutely. So, okay, um, we're assuming you're a single guy, right? This is for my ladies. I like to ask some questions for the ladies. Like, do you cook? <laughs> do you, um, yeah, like, like let's... Uh, do I cook? You know, of course I cook. You know, I got a family, you know what I'm saying? I can't, you know, look here. I used to be single. You know, right now I just feel like I'm I'm take, I'm married to my responsibilities. Ah, uh, very nice. You know, very what I'm saying? nice. Focus and passion is my girlfriend. Okay, that's you know. a that's a good girlfriend to have. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> also, if okay, if there was a celebrity, it's time for the hashtag Al Al moment on Twitter, Instagram. I do something called Al Al. Okay. So basically, that would be someone who, um, you know, it could be celebrity crush. If you think she's gorgeous, she's pretty, whatever, and you would post her picture, hashtag Al Al. Mm. Who would that person be for you? <laughs> oh. That's a good, you know, that's a good question. 
I would say, uh, uh -oh. oh man, maybe Tina Turner. Very nice. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah, Tina Turner. Yes. <laughs> I like older women. <laughs> so silly. How did you feel about Angela Bassett playing Tina? Wasn't oh, that great? Oh, that was, uh, she did a marvelous job. Phenomenal. Yeah. And Larry Fishburne, he played Ike to the T. Yes, you know, absolutely. He did, you know. Yeah. See, Ike is like my role model. Stop it. In a good You're way. Lying. Anyway, this is when, where I cut you off. He teaches me what not to do to women. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> nice cleanup. <laughs> Kenyatta Cortez, everyone. Thank you so much for thank coming you. by the show. I really appreciate it. The Breakthrough with Mia Mendez, the detour comes right back. And we're back with the magic man, Fabian Christopher. And he's got a few more tricks up his sleeve before we go. Fabian, turn it up Tuesday. Yeah, what, you got? It up. what you got? What you got? What you got? Let's see. I've got something under here. <laughs> but you don't know what I'm going to do with this. Let me borrow your cell phone for one second. Well, what you going to do with my phone? When I, when I say, hand it to me, hand it to me. First, let's blow this up. In there, straight in. No. Now, that's inside of the, the cell phone is inside of the balloon. Now, watch. Wait a minute. What we gotta do now is take it. This is the hard part is to. I know it's a lot. Of, you gotta clean it off though. This is inside of there. Let's get rid of that. We'll sanitize that before we give it back to you. Okay. And that's magic. <laughs> that's how you do it. <laughs> that's how you do it. Thank you for amazing us with your magical talent. Next time on the Detour Show, plastic surgery aftercare services. Meet a registered nurse who helps care for patients before and after cosmetic surgery. That's it for us today on the Detour Show. Join us the next time. Times are changing, moving fast. There's a sign up ahead. Detour, follow that. If you find it.